Um, so we've got a phone call now from, uh, is it Lucian? Are you there, Lucian? Hello, yeah, this is Lucian. Well, yeah, it's, uh, well, thank you very much for, uh, calling us. Uh, what, what seems to be the trouble? How can we help you? Well, I'm just, uh, phoning up to clarify this thing about the daylight savings. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's for fathers. I'm the, the nephew of a farmer. You're a farmer's nephew, are you? Yes. And I uh, expect with that comes a certain amount of responsibility, don't it? No, there's no responsibility. <laughs> no duties to be performed on the farm or anything? Well, no, not really. I don't live near the farm. I sometimes go there. We've just been there, actually, for Christmas. Was it nice Quite to have a nice... It was all right, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit depressing. Why? Well, because uh, of the fall of agriculture and everything? Yeah. Industrialisation of farming, it's going to be depressing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No working farm. But really, it's just a... Well, then, perhaps your your uncle will g g release his stranglehold over the quantum physics and let the day start when it's meant to start. That's what well, I'd say. M maybe that can happen now. That, that's my point. I'm saying that surely that can happen now because farming is now a defunct industry, but in the olden days, uh, the farmers needed to get up when it was light, and so that's why we had daylight savings. Right, but now... But now the, far the farmer's got to take his icy grip off the throats of the common man and just let us get up at a, a sensible hour. Let me tell you, it's the other way around. The common man has an icy grip around the throat of my uncle. But it, it, is it a, a literal grip, or is it very much a metaphorical grip? It's the same metaphorical grip that you started, yeah. It's not a literal grip. Yeah, well, my metaphorical grip was grounded in reality, Lucian. My one, it was a metaphor, but it was based on reality. So based you know, on and the reality of your tiny mind not understanding uh, daylight savings. I, I understand, like, you know, if you're going to meddle with time, why don't we just now announce that it's six o'clock and all stop and, like, a have a cup of tea and watch some cricket or something, you know, like... You can hang yourself by your own petard as you're doing exactly this moment. What a nonsense thing you've just said. I've hung not by, not by my own petard. Of all the things to get hung by, my own petard is the most yeah. humiliating, isn't it? Yeah, I'd, I'd or your some... tongue. Your little tongue licking its words out, it's itself around your neck and strangling you on radio. That's an horrible Talking way nonsense. to die. You've got the mind of a criminal genius, Lucian. And also, why is that? Do you know that, that this year is going to be one second longer? Oh, is it? Yeah, there's a whole. Are you blame that on the farms as well, are you? Well, I think they've mm -hmm. got to take some responsibility for it. They're dabbling in in our affairs. What about the electricians and engineers? Well, I, I don't think that they've ever gone. Can it now be midnight? I don't think electricians and engineers have ever done that, Lucian. Well, the farmers have never done it. They've been... They, they've had too much power. The farmers didn't say, Oi, we want the, the clocks forward. Listen. We were quite happy. I'm not a farmer, I shouldn't be saying we. But, um, it was the government saying, Look, too many farmers are not getting up, uh, and they're not being able to go to the... They can go in and, and take part in the community activities. We've got to set the daylight hours according to the, the, the lay of the land. Lucian, I appreciate your call very much, but your blinkered loyalty to your farmer uncle is bewildering. This is Six. Six. Music.